Hello everyone, welcome to Sculpt and 3D Prints. Today I'm going to show you how to create a cool guitar pick using Fusion 360. So first we're gonna create a plane and select the bottom and then we go to the top view and then we're gonna select the line type first and select this line. So this is the line type that we have selected right now. So this is a dash line or a guideline. So the purpose of this guideline is uh, later on when we create a symmetry, it will be uh, the basis for the center. And then next, I will create a horizontal guideline. So this time I did select the dimension. So I select first the horizontal and then the center line or the vertical line and then create around eight millimeter of distance. Also the unit of measurement that we're gonna use on this uh, project will be in millimeters. And then just making sure the construction line is off. I type 12.36. So right now, everything I'm doing here will be on the left side because the other side will be taken care by the symmetry. And also at the bottom, put 1.50 millimeter. So again, connect to A, to B, and, to, and then to the C point here. So this is the first connection. So uh, pardon me for that because I did so many attempts. Uh, I'm also trying to uh, getting used with the controls of the Fusion 360. This is... Uh, very different from Blender, but uh, this is actually a parametric where the Blender is a 3D modeling. So we just drag this point here to adjust the curb. You can adjust the angle and how much curb you want by adjusting this circle here. So I think for this side is uh, pretty much done. And then click finish sketch. And so now we have this solid line. Okay, so now I did use the mirror. So I select all the lines from the left side and then for the mirror line, we select this uh, construction line that we have created and this is what happened. This is the result and then click finish sketch. Again, uh, I'm just saving this just to make sure that uh, this is uh, saved so that my progress will not be lost. And then I click extrude to around 1.16 millimeter then I select the fillet around 3 millimeter and press OK okay so first layer is done and now we can proceed to the second layer Then again, we select the fillet in here, and then we select the outer edge and put it around, put it to around 0.40 millimeters. And also we do the fillet at the bottom around 0.40 millimeter. So 
So this uh, shell display we have adjusted to around 0.40 millimeters. So this will be the base of the pick. And then we're going to create another sketch on top of this surface here. Hello again, everyone. We're back again. So we're going to select this top surface and we're going to click again a new plane. So this will be the second sketch. And from this sketch, we're going to create a projection line so that we can use it later on when we project and when we use the extrude function. So I'm just selecting the points in here that I want to project. So I'm checking on the side if it's good and then click OK. Next is we're going to create a construction line. Just make sure you click this. So this will be again the basis as the center when we use the mirror function because what we're trying what we're trying to do is to create only on the left side and then we're gonna use the mirror function to mirror the other one that we created to the right side. So now we use this line. So now we're gonna create a curve. So we just, I just click this one side here to adjust the curve. So you can drag it up and down to adjust how much uh, curvature you want. And also I want this line to be around so I'm going to increase this uh, line here, which this uh, curb is connected to around, let's see, to around 20 millimeter vertically. And so now I got a more steeper curb that is downward. And then we select the mirror function, to copy this. And for the mirror line, we select the construction line and hit OK and then finish sketch. And now we hit the extrude function and then we're going to extrude it to around editor to around 0.80 millimeters. And then afterward, I'm going to create a lay around the edges of this so this uh, edges I select all the edges the top edges only one two three four and also these edges here around here so that will be around six edges that I have selected, oops, and one more in here. So that will be seven. And I want it to be around the fillet. And then I did change it again to around 0.60 and then hit OK. So now this is how it looked like. So this is finish actually this is a finish uh, work already but I'm um, going to put a name which is the channel of my YouTube and I'm going to use blender okay so this is now the finish uh, work I'm going to show you how to export this as a dot obj or you can export it directly 
as a .stl file to be 3D printed, but I want this to be modified on Blender because I want I'm more I don't know I I I just prefer the letters 3D lettering with Blender than Fusion 360. So that's what I'm doing. I just export this as a dot obj file which i will be importing on blender later on and by the way this uh work when i'm working with fusion 360 i was also connected online so that i can save my progress and i can do the export and import functions within fusion 360 okay so we're, we are now on the blender so we're gonna import a that obj file that we have uh, exported from fusion 360 so this is how it look like it is uh, in exact size as in Fusion 360 because uh, I have set my dimensions in Blender also in metric and in millimeters. Shift A and select text. I type the name of my YouTube channel which is Sculpt and 3D Prints. So after I have typed the name, I put a material color so it's easy to identify. And then scale it up a little bit so I can see it. And now we are going to, we are going to the geometry. To extrude around point twenty seven millimeters, or I did change it to zero point thirty four millimeters. Resolution is four, and then scale it up a little bit so that it will fit inside within this second layer that we have created on the guitar pick thing. And then I also color the guitar pick with red so that I can distinguish the color between the uh, letters and the model. So I just did a little bit of alignment to make it more center. And also going to side view by pressing three I just move it more inside. This time I did not use any boolean because I just want it a little bit uh, hanging from the surface. So this will also fit, uh, serve as a handle for the thumb. I just want it a little bit hanging. So now it's just uh, hanging on the surface a little bit. Again, some little bit of uh, centering. We adjust meant to make it more center. And then there is one final thing I need to do before I can uh, 3D print this. Is uh, this letter that we have created right now is still a curve. So we have to convert this as a mesh so that when you export this it will be uh, converted to that obj file because you cannot export a curve into that obj you have to convert it first into a mesh so what we do is select the letter and then select convert to mesh so that will convert it into a mesh that can be exported as a .obj or .stl. 
and then I just uh, I make a backup and then and then yeah before I did uh, export this I made sure that all the models are selected and then I also apply all the scale just you you don't need to use you don't need to select the other function the uh, rotation or location you just uh, you select apply apply all scale and then this is ready for export so now we're gonna export this as a dot sdl in here so that the slicer can read this and make sure you click selection only otherwise when you open the slicer and you export it uh, import it and you will see nothing so now we are on the uh, flash print slicer which is exclusive of flash ford which is the printer i am currently using right now i have two flash forge printer so this is the imported sdl that was created with Fusion 360 and Blender and it's ready for slicing so this is how it look like when you slice it with the slicer and hopefully you learn something and please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel for more videos like this I'll see you again. Bye.